Welcome, fellow explorers, and this is all about Mars' surface. Three months ago, the story of Mars took another turn. Both perseverance and curiosity uncovered rock formations unlike anything we've seen before. Rocks that seemed to whisper the planet's forgotten history through their colors, patterns, and structure. If you thought the last episode was incredible, wait till you see what the rovers found this time. Because sometimes, the smallest stone can hide the biggest secret. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss the next Martian update. This is all about Mars surface, where every image unlocks a new mystery, and every mystery brings us closer to the truth. It's Sol 1608. Perseverance enters a region known as Echo Field, a plain scattered with sharp, metallic-looking stones. At first glance, they appear ordinary, but under ultraviolet light, something strange happens. The surfaces reflect a faint blue shimmer. Using its pixel spectrometer, Perseverance identifies rare alloys of iron and nickel, traces of elements that don't naturally occur in large amounts on Mars' surface. NASA scientists suggest these could be fragments of an ancient meteor impact, melted and fused together by extreme heat. But the question remains, what kind of impact could create enough energy to leave these crystalline scars across the terrain? On the other side of the planet, Curiosity is investigating a raised section of terrain called Crystal Ridge. From orbit, the area looks like a thin, pale scar winding through the red dust. But up close, Curiosity's cameras reveal something breathtaking. The ridge is filled with translucent veins, glittering like glass under sunlight. The rover's ChemCam laser vaporizes a small section, and the analysis returns a surprise. Pure silica combined with rare metallic traces, suggesting the rocks here once experienced extreme pressure and heat. These veins may have formed during ancient volcanic quakes, recording moments when the Martian crust was alive with power. One NASA geologist said it's as if Mars carved its memories into these crystals. Every fracture is a timeline frozen in stone. Three months ago, Perseverance's instruments detected faint static discharges while scanning a formation nicknamed Volt Rock. Each time the robotic arm touched its surface, a measurable electric pulse appeared. Not strong, but consistent. Tests showed the rock contained ferrous oxide mixed with sulfates, minerals known to hold small electric charges when exposed to sunlight. This discovery suggested that parts of Mars surface might naturally generate electricity through static buildup. A world that crackles softly under its own sunlight, a planet still full of silent energy. At Gale Crater, Curiosity photographs a strange boulder covered in repeating geometric shapes, perfect hexagons etched into the surface like tiles. After high-resolution scans, scientists realize they're not carvings, but mineral growth patterns, crystallized over millions of years, forming near-perfect geometry. When enhanced, the structure almost looks like a patterned code, as if nature itself was experimenting with design. NASA researchers nicknamed it the Stone Code. Some speculate the formation occurred during slow cooling of molten rock, creating symmetrical divisions similar to Earth's basalt columns, but more refined, almost engineered in appearance. In its next move, Perseverance approached a field of dark dunes nicknamed the Iron Drift. As the rover crossed them, its magnetic sensors recorded rapid fluctuations, like waves pulsing through the dust. The dunes themselves were magnetic, composed of microscopic particles of magnetite and hematite, moving slightly in response to the Martian wind. For the first time, scientists observed active magnetic behavior in loose Martian soil. Even without a global magnetic field, Mars still holds echoes of its ancient magnetism, alive 
invisible and whispering through its dust. Three months ago, Curiosity captured a peculiar reflection, a small glint of light from a rock face inside the Gale Crater Valley. When examined closely, the light wasn't a lens flare. It was real. The rock surface itself was highly reflective, almost mirror-like. The rover's instruments revealed a thin coating of glassy minerals, possibly formed from lightning strikes or surface-level energy bursts long ago. A flash frozen in time. Proof that Mars still surprises us with phenomena we can barely explain. Three months ago, both rovers recorded something remarkable. A subtle but identical chemical signature in different regions of Mars. An unexpected element, germanium, a rare semi-metal used on Earth in electronics. It was detected independently by Perseverance near Echo Field and by Curiosity near Mount Sharp. No one knows how it got there. Meteoric origin, ancient volcanic plume, or something far stranger beneath the crust? NASA called it the Silent Connection, proof that both sides of Mars may still be linked by one ancient source deep below. As the Martian sun dips low, both rovers capture the horizon, perseverance facing west, curiosity facing east. Between them lies thousands of kilometers of untouched land, filled with unexamined stones, unseen shapes, and unanswered questions. For all their data and discoveries, there's still one truth both machines silently teach us. Mars doesn't reveal everything at once. It lets us earn each secret, layer by layer. The rovers continue their slow crawl across the dust. Their cameras clicking, their sensors listening, as humanity waits thousands of kilometers away for the next whisper from the red planet. Three months ago, we thought we'd seen everything, but Mars just reminded us, it still holds more secrets than we can imagine. Join us next time as Perseverance begins its descent into the Iron Maze, and Curiosity faces its toughest terrain yet. This is all about Mars' surface, where every rock tells a story, and every story leads deeper into the mystery of Mars.